How's it going everybody? Before we start the list, let me clarify the title of the video a bit. The revenge gain in outnumbered fights has become a bigger thing ever since the patch, so it's only natural that in one way is to kill someone who's holding his full revenge buff. You can't really prevent someone gaining revenge, but there are moves that prevent the person to activate it. And that's what we're talking about today. Even if you don't play a specific character, knowing what you as a teammate can do to get in additional damage is very important as well. Let's just start with the most well-known ones that everyone has probably noticed by themselves. Raider Stampede Charge probably being one of the most common ones, what I want you guys to pay attention to is when I am allowed to activate my revenge. During all these clips I'm basically non-stop hammering on the revenge button to get the earliest possible activation. In this specific case it's right after the knee hits me, but the whole time span from me hitting the wall until the knee has no damage reduction anymore and thus lets teammates wail on me. This move is very clear cut and it makes sense when I can activate revenge. When looking at Shogoki's hug you will see a slight difference. The game still forces me to play out almost the full falling down animation before it lets me pop revenge. The whole duration of that allows teammates to get their damage in. The very frame I take damage cancels the animation and lets me revenge out of it. We know there is a frame perfect attack together with the hug that doesn't interrupt it, but as a rule of thumb, you don't need strict timing to get additional damage in. Now Shaman Spite is in stark contrast to this. It has been nerfed continuously throughout the last few months and especially what we're looking at today, it stands out. The very moment the bite is complete, I can pop revenge. Which means that it requires a very precise timing to land additional attacks. There's always the chance that you either mess up the bite because you attacked ever so slightly too early or you'll eat a knockdown because you were late. The other big culprit in preventing revenge activation is Shinobi. He actually has three different moves that can do it. First is Kick. You can still get your ranged heavy in and because the window between those two is quite generous, even your teammates shouldn't really have any problem to land a heavy. The same goes for slide tackle. I'm aware that I can block the second light, but as you can see, I cannot revenge parry it. And there is also no interrupting the animation if a teammate decides to attack. It will force me through the whole animation with no damage reduction whatsoever. And the last option is obviously the sickle rain move. It's not the range guard break that prevents the activation, but the follow up attack. You will be forced down and you will eat additional damage if more opponents are around. The last one of the big ganking moves is long arm. It won't guarantee the follow up for the lobbringer himself, but because the move itself has no damage reduction, the whole length of the animation means free heavies for the teammates. Now we're moving on to moves that might not be so well known and will also confirm follow up damage for the person performing it. One of these is Valkyrie Sweep. The stab after the sweep will always land and you won't be able to prevent it with revenge. Because it's not a move that lands too often or lends itself to ganking really, teammates might be surprised but you are able to get more damage. Timing is a little finicky, you can see two different scenarios here, the first one confirmed multiple attacks whereas the second one, the first light interrupted the fall down animation and allowed me to activate revenge a lot earlier. Shaolin's kick works the exact same way, if it lands, your light afterwards is confirmed. This goes both for the chi stance kick as well as the tier 2 feet kick. His running kick on the other hand is useless in that regard and I'm not even gonna mention his sweep. Black Prior's flip also locks you into the animation and lets teammates attack. Moving on to one of the lesser known ones, Nusha's Traps. The moment she got you, you will not be able to revenge the damage. You can revenge the trap itself before it lands though. The timing is finicky but because it takes a while for the Nusha to actually do damage, the teammates have time to land their attacks. Mind you, if those hit too early, the trap will be cancelled. 
I think this can be shown the best with her zone trap. It has a longest animation and you should be able to clearly tell the window for the teammates to pile on the damage. Next up is Highlander. The kick doesn't prevent anything so don't even try. But the grab will allow your teammates to do some damage. Junjun's joke is similar, but because it has a massive damage reduction, it's really not that good. One interaction I want to mention specifically is Aramusha's Ring the Bell. I've shown this in his Punish update, but the light after the move is blockable. But just like Shinobi's second light after slide tackle, you are not able to revenge parry the light after Ring the Bell. So now, if I haven't mentioned a bash, a kick or whatever, then chances are it doesn't do anything to revenge and throwing a follow-up attack after landing it will get you auto parried. And I'm 100% sure people will mention Centurion in the comments because his punch knocks you down even when in revenge, but none of his moves prevent you from activating it. But yeah, that's it. I know this wasn't a particularly exciting video, but it is knowledge that will help you deal with revenge a little better. It's so incredibly easy to fill your bar, especially in matchmaking when people just mindlessly throw attacks at you. Knowing when to attack, and especially what to attack with, will help you tremendously and it might even make you curse out your teammates one or two times less. Well, maybe not, but a man can hope. Thanks to everybody helping out with the video, revenge tests take a few more people nowadays, so if you feel like helping out, there is a Discord link in the video description. See you there, until then, thanks for watching, laters everybody.